Hello everyone and welcome. This is your host Emma Emerson for Golden Icons and we are here with one of the biggest Nollywood movie stars, Jim Ike and he's here with us to just discuss a few things just to hang out with us here at golden icons well thank you for taking your time to thank you you know talk with us here now we know you're a very very busy man and you have reached i guess the beginning of the height of your career you know you are a star everywhere you go i'm sure you meet people who know who you are now tell me we see this bold sometimes over you know confidence in a way you know some people might mistake it for arrogance but you know who you are now we never see the softer side so who, who, where, where, where how how would you describe the real gem yeah, over the years i've created so many so many cocoons that i had behind and mm -hmm. with show business i was more or less thrust in the middle of um the height of activity and in order to not only secure my mental well-being and secure who I was, I gave a certain personality that people quickly snared up, mm -hmm. and perhaps it got a little out of line. But is the um, perhaps a runaway train that that it's um, the PR um, um, is being of the PR and gimmick of today, and I've not to a great extent been able to control it. Um, people form certain impressions, not only from the movies uh, I portrayed over the course of my career, but certain things, mistakes basically that I've made and, and certain, well, impressions people had of me. And maybe I didn't go out of my way to correct those impressions. And I, I also did something that, well, uh, my evaluation might have been for my safety, my personal safety, I, I went out of my way to take a Morris, you know, ends to to secure the person that I thought I was. Mm -hmm. That's the think I am. It's so easy to lose who you are in this business. That's true. And so people formed the impression, fed that fantasy, and gave it life. Yes. And it's pretty much our life that's that's is what is um well presently um um view that Jim Mike in, in, the, in, in the industry and in the world at large but um, I like to think there's an alter ego mm -hmm. there's a more quiet more introspective the kind of person that is not socialized that I've, I've never been one to think that my people's skill was <laughs> commendable you know can I give you a compliment yes um, when we interviewed some of your cast members for the movie King, between Kings and Queens, the Joy Dixon film, they had nothing bad to say about you. They thought you were just absolutely wonderful to work with. They say you were so funny that you were you got along with everybody so well. So would you say that to some certain people or maybe your cast and crew you are a certain person or is it which different types of people you act differently? Um, it, it is what it is, is, is the industry and sometimes People unknowingly, um, unconsciously suffer a bipolar problem, um, a multifaceted life, if you like, um, a multiple personality. Well, what I don't like to say this order, a multiple personality order, is the only way you can survive, you know, the mental, psychologically, even physically in this industry. I, I have a certain person I give out there, mm -hmm. and then the first thing I think I did on the course of this career is that. My antenna, my emotional rather, was somehow developed to, uh, I honed it to perhaps unbelievable extents. I can almost walk into a room and feel the emotions involved. In, in everything come to you, the hatred, the curiosity, the, the love, mm -hmm. the anger directed at you for absolutely no reason. And, and you think, oh my God, I can bet 90% of the people in this room do not even know me. Right. But I live in a country where um, impressions are taken to heart very easily. What they see on TV can be construed into their lives and, mm -hmm. and fed into their everyday perspective of you. And you can give so much to the public. When you wake up and see you signed up for this industry, you pretty much signed your life away. And then in the middle of it, you refuse to share that, that life of yours with them. I'm not, I'm unlike many people in the industry. I mean, it's not. It's not fun that I'm something out while I read the proclaim in within modest. I I have grown, I I've seen you no know, the metamorphosis it you know, transmutation of your life from the kid to the man. As an actor, figuratively speaking, I I 
I've seen myself, you know, I've seen what I was capable of eight years ago, mm -hmm. what I'm capable of now. Mm -hmm. So much has been consumed in the way of knowledge and that it's unbelievable and that growth. Um, but um, I, I pretty much grew up in this industry. I got into this um, when I was out of college in my late teens and I'm a man now, it's been almost 10 years. I feel this is the only job I've known. It's not a career anymore, it's a lifelong pursuit. And um, the, the, the job, my, my career, it's, it's my child, it's my brother, it's, it's family, it's, it's all I've known basically so I think you yeah, have been remarkable you are so humble about this what some of you may not know is that this man we're talking to mm -hmm. today he you actually won the award for best actor yeah. I believe in the Nigerian entertainment awards mm -hmm. now that is one amongst many others that you have won now tell me do you are you looking for new challenges these days because I hear you are a businessman mm -hmm. what kind of businesses are you into because I can tell you've got a lot going on with you. <laughs> well, 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 challenges is pretty much what sets the precedence in my life. It's, um, I come from a highly challenged family, and <laughs> very highly competitive. Everybody's always trying to outdo the other persons. Mm -hmm. um, I'm happy with the kind of young women that God blessed me with. My, my sisters are the bedrock of, of pretty much who I am. The incredible blessing in my life. and. Uh, and yes, I, I wake up every morning and I'm proud to say that I don't know what I'm going to do next. Okay. It is the catalyst that set forth my day and I makes me look forward to the pace that I follow and, and what I intend to achieve for that day. It's, I have never planned anything in my life. I, I'm prayerful and I know um, I'm completely embrace um, the helplessness before um, um, high authority. I, I believe in my Lord Jesus Christ and I, I'm the kind of person that when I say I want to do this, it's, it becomes just a question of time. It, whatever obstacles, whatever um, boundaries that I have to cross is, is basically surmountable in my opinion. And, and I, I, I take that mindset in business as well. I'm happy to say that I've, I've done well in business. I it got to a point fans were beginning to I mean true fans have followed my career were beginning to think I was gonna leave acting for business. Uh, but but no, um we formed on team I like to use perfect well, I like to say that it's it's a we factor in a lot of respect. It's not only me. Because um I I hired what I believe um, unbelievable talents and, and then got together and we formed on team um, production a long time ago. We're happy to say we're on our third production right now, movie production. Um, I'm the executive producer, I produce it as well, but I have a team of unbelievable talented people that, that work, I like to sit with me. Um, we also have a team of cars, ideal cars, I come here, I buy cars. And I have a clientele we serve and I like to say we're serving to the fullness of, uh, of their needs and then well, we're just about to finish um, our, the brand of our, our, um, uh, for our nightclub. Um, we're, we're starting sports bars, you know, we're almost done with that. And the list goes on and on. It's also an event management company. It's, it's, we just keep going. That aspect is there. And then we have another project. It's called um, Draw for Gym on the team production. It's it's very interesting. I got you smiling there. What do you want to talk about? I wanted to ask about that. Yeah. Because you are a very busy man. Yeah. You could go on forever with all the projects you have going on. When I heard Jewel for Jim, I was like, what? Is it that you're, we know you're single. Okay. How do you expect to find love? In a TV show. On a TV show. <laughs> and not just a TV show, oh. but also with the kind of schedule you have. Oh. How, how many women, first of all, let me know, how many women are you dealing with here? We're dealing with 24 women. Good job. Okay, Good and job. Uh, well, the auditions going to run concurrently across the nation. We chose North America basically because. Um, we wanted a certain sanity to do this thing <laughs> and there are laws here that work so we said okay let's stick okay. within the confines of the constitution and see how it's okay. going to work so that if anything um, one way or the other finds us we outside the boundaries of 
the constitution I and mean, we will know how to pursue that that is very you know <laughs> very what happened to the ladies in nigeria or well, africa nothing is wrong with the ladies um we're also looking at the business sense to this everything i do has to have a business marriage has to have business in it? no not in that sense in, in the process of marriage okay people uh, people get married here and then they sell the, the interview rights uh, and, and to, to magazines and uh, no different business it's man. a business <laughs> this is this is the trade back it's your name it's, it's what you put forth that's what you feed from and um i believe in love don't get me wrong completely and earnestly <laughs> And I said, while on that pursuit, why don't you do a little business on the satellite as well? There's nothing wrong with it. And I said, okay. I didn't want to do this at first. I've always okay. been, um, I've always had a great deal of trepidation regarding um, shows and regarding reality TV. And I said, nah, it's not, it's for people that have issues. Trust me, they <laughs> want to do that. But, like I told you, I have a very unique team and okay. friends that I think that I have my interests at heart, at least. <laughs> and when they convinced me it was a question of time, and that time was now, I've been working non-stop for the past one and a half years, and mm. truthfully, I'm psychologically exhausted. Right. And I came to that point where I said, you know what, I need to do something different, something away from me, but something challenging in, in, its, in its context. Yes, well. and, and you chose 24 women to share that with Yes, yeah, so about 1,000. 1,000? Oh, wow. 1,200 women. It's outrageous. I'm so glad I'm not part of the audition. Man. But I'll tell you, oh, you're not part of that. No, I'm not. I told him I can't deal with that. I can't. So it's said, too okay, much. Mm -mm, I, can't, I can't deal with it. I did, they said, okay, you know what? We'll do all the dirty work. Just sit in the house for 24 of them and figure out who you're going to spend your life with. I said, um, I've taken a lot of decisions that I've come to regret in my life. <laughs> I'm keeping my fingers crossed that this is oh, not hopefully gonna be this one one's not going to be one of them. Yes. At least you've had some practice with your what seven sisters. Oh, them they are different. They, they, oh, what do you mean they're different? That's they're a different kind of love. Trust me, <laughs> that's, a, that's a whole different kind of love. But it's the same idea, living with seven women. Well, I've had 25 women in the same house, cousins, um, their friends, my sister's friends, oh, my mom's friend and aunts, and I was the only guy. So with the women thing, you know, women, come on, it's got nothing to do with living with women. <laughs> it's intricacies that come with it. The the the, the, HR. the, the hey, what? Which are? You said it's it's, it's, yeah, yeah. It's 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 just different. That's a whole different platform. One is family, one is not. It's okay. a simple black and white situation. Okay. Well, one thing that no one can argue on is that you are such a fashionable person. As in everything you wear, from head to toe, you got the right packaging. Thank you, thank you very much. It's a very, very, very. Now I, I'm I'm sure you haven't heard that before. I, I, I can't pretend I <laughs> I'm sure everyone tells you that. You're just being modest. Now, I hear you're having a clothing line. Is this true? Um, some people approached me um, just a few months ago. They call themselves um, Bobo Clothing Line. And um, three years ago, I nearly formed a clothing line called Untamed, where I perfume, deodorant, had a hope we started with the jeans I went to Paris like four or five times to have the meeting for we did three presentations in the, in the course of that time um, they thought um, okay it's a young African trying to start this thing you better have a lot of money I told him money wasn't the issue the point is passion point is there's a market in Africa now to just listen to you talk about fashion is amazing it's like mm -hmm. I mean it's like hearing you talk about like a Sons of Solomon like a woman it's that like you're talking about clothes <laughs> I grew do you realize that? that? <laughs> <laughs> oh man I didn't realize that was going on like Ago, mm. when I'm capable of now, mm -hmm. so much has been consumed in the way of knowledge, and that it's unbelievable and that growth. Um, but um, I, I pretty much grew up in this industry. I got into this um, when I was out of college in my late teens, and 
I'm a man now, it's been almost 10 years. I feel this is the only job I've known. It's not a career anymore, it's a lifelong pursuit. And um, the, the, the job, my, my career, it's, it's my child, it's my brother, it's, it's family, it's, it's all I've known, basically. So I think you have been remarkable. You are so humble about this. What some of you may not know is that this man we're talking to today, he, he actually won the award for best actor. I believe, in the Nigerian Entertainment Awards. Now, that is one amongst many others that you have won. Now, tell me, do you are you looking for new challenges these days? Because I hear you are a businessman. What kind of businesses are you into? Because I can tell you've got a lot going on with you. Well, well, well challenges is pretty much what's sets the precedent in my life and um, I come from a highly challenged family and <laughs> very highly competitive. Everybody's always trying to outdo the other persons. Mm -hmm. um, I'm happy with the kind of young women that God blessed me with. My, my sisters are the bedrock of, of pretty much who I am. Mm -hmm. The incredible blessing in my life and uh, and yes, I, I wake up every morning and I'm proud to say that I don't know what I'm going to do next. Okay. It is the catalyst that set forth my day and I makes me look forward to the pace that I follow and, and what I intend to achieve for that day. It's, I have never planned anything in my life. I, I'm prayerful and I know um, I'm completely embrace um, the helplessness before um, um, high authority. I, I believe in my Lord Jesus Christ and I, I'm the kind of person that when I say I want to do this, it's it becomes just a question of time. It, whatever obstacles, whatever um, boundaries that I have to cross, is it's basically surmountable in my opinion. And and I, I I take that mindset in business as well. I'm happy to say that I've I've done well in business. I it, it got to a point fans were beginning to I mean true fans have followed my career. Um, we're also looking at the business sense to this. Everything I do has to have a business. Marriage has to have business. Sense. No, not in that sense. In the process of marriage, okay. people are, people get married here and then they sell the the interview rights uh, and, and to, to magazines. Uh, no different. Business. It's man. a business. <laughs> This is this is the trade back. It's your name. It's, it's what you put forth. That's what you feed from. And um, I believe in love. Don't get me wrong. Completely and earnestly. And I said, while on that pursuit, why don't you do a little business on the satellite as well? It's not wrong with it. And I said, okay. I didn't want to do this at first. I was okay. Being um, I've always had a great deal of trepidation regarding um shows you know, regarding reality TV and I said nah it's not it's for people that have issues trust me that <laughs> want to do that but like I told you I have a very unique team and okay. friends that I think that I have my interest at heart at least <laughs> and when they convinced me it was a question of time and that time was now I've been working non-stop for the past one and a half years and mm. Truthfully, I'm psychologically exhausted. Right. And I came to that point where I said, you know what, I need to do something different, something away from it, but something challenging in, in, its, in this context. As well. Yes, and, and you also. chose 24 women to share that with you. Yes, uh, about 1,000. <laughs> 1,000? Oh, wow. 1,200 <laughs> women. It's outrageous. I'm so glad I'm not part of the audition. But, but I'll tell yeah. you, oh, you're not part of that. No, I'm not. I told them I can't deal with that. I can't. It's they said, too okay, much. Mm -mm, I, can't, I can't deal with it. They said, okay, you know what, we'll do all the dirty work. Just sit in the house <laughs> for 24 of them and figure out who you're going to spend your life with. I said, um, I've taken a lot of decisions that I've come to regret in my life. <laughs> I'm keeping my fingers crossed that this is oh, not going to be one of them. Be one of them. Yes. At least you've had some practice with your, what, seven sisters? Oh, them, they are different. They, they, oh, what do you mean they're different? That's they're a different kind of love, trust me. <laughs> that's, a, that's a whole different kind of love. But it's the same idea, leaving with seven women? Well, I've had 25 women in the same house, cousins, um, their friends, my sister's friends, oh, my mom's friend and aunts, and I was the only guy. So with the women thing, you know women, come on, it's got nothing. We begin to think I was going to leave acting for business. Uh, but but no, um, we formed on team. I like to use perfect. You know, I like to say that it's it's a we factor in a lot of respect. It's not only me. 
because um, I, I hired what I believe are unbelievable talents and, and then we got together and we formed Untamed um, production a long time ago. We're happy to say we're on our third production right now, movie production. Um, I'm the executive producer, I produce it as well, but I have a team of unbelievable talented people that, that work, I like to sit with me. Um, we also have on team cars, ideal cars, I come here and buy cars. And I have a clientele we serve and I like to say we serve serving to the fullness of, uh, of their needs and then we're, we're just about to finish um, our, the brand of our, our, um, uh, for our nightclub, um, we're, we're starting a sports bar very soon, you know, we're almost done with that. And the list goes on and on, it's, we're also an event management company, it's, it's, we just keep going. That aspect is there and then we have another project, it's called um, Draw for Gym on the team production. It's it's, it's very interesting. I got you smiling there. <laughs> what do you want to talk about? I wanted to ask about that. Yeah. Because you are a very busy man. Yeah. Basically, you could go on forever mm. with all the projects you have going on. Mm. When I heard Jewel for Jim, mm. I was like, what? Is it that you're, we know you're single. Yes, okay. Mm. How do you expect to find love? In a TV show. On a TV show. <laughs> And not just the TV show, but also with the kind of schedule you have. How, uh, how many women, first of all, let me know, how many women are you dealing with here? We're dealing with 24 women. Good job. Okay, Good and job. Uh, well, the auditions going on concurrently across the nation. We chose North America basically because. Um, we wanted a certain sanity to do this thing <laughs> and there are laws here that work so we said okay let's stick okay. within the confines of the constitution and see how it's going to okay. work so that if anything um, one way or the other finds us we outside the boundaries of the constitution I mean we'll know how to pursue that that end very you know <laughs> very what happened to the ladies in Nigeria or well, Africa nothing is wrong with the ladies uh, Hello everyone and welcome. This is your host Emma Emerson for Golden Icons and we are here with one of the biggest Nollywood movie stars, Jim Ike. And he's here with us to just discuss a few things, just to hang out with us here at Golden Icons. Well thank you for taking your time to thank you. You know, talk with us here. Now we know you're a very, very busy man and you have reached I guess the beginning of the height of your career. You know, you are a star. Everywhere you go, I'm sure you meet people who know who you are. Now tell me, we see this bold, sometimes over, you know, confidence in a way, you know, some people might mistake it for arrogance, but you know who you are. Now, we never see the softer side. So, who, where, 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 how, how would you describe the real gem? Yeah, over the years, I've created so many, so many cocoons that I had behind and mm -hmm. it's show business. I was more or less thrust in the middle of um, the height of activity and in order to not only secure my mental well-being and secure who I was, I gave a certain personality that people quickly snared up mm -hmm. and perhaps it got a little out of line but is the um, perhaps a runaway train in that, that it's um, the PR um, um, is being of the PR and gimmick of today and I've not to a great extent been able to control it um, people form certain impressions, not only from the movies uh, I portrayed over the course of my career, but certain things, mistakes basically that I've made and, and certain, well, impressions people had of me. And maybe I didn't go out of my way to correct those impressions. And I, I also did something that, well, uh, my evaluation might have been for my safety, my personal safety, I, I went out of my way to take a morris, you know, ends to to secure the person that I thought I was. Mm -hmm. That's the think I am. It's so easy to lose who you are in this business. That's true. And so people formed their impression, fed that fantasy, and gave it life. Yes. And it's pretty much our life that's that's it's what is um well presently um um view that Jamaica in, in, the, in, in the industry and in the world at large but um, I like to think there's an alter ego mm -hmm. there's a more quiet more introspective 
the kind of person that is not socialized. I, I've I've never been one to think that my people's skill was <laughs> commendable. You know. Can I give you a compliment? Yes. Um, when we interviewed some of your cast members for the movie for King Between Kings and Queens, the Joy Dixon film. Right. They had nothing bad to say about you. They thought you were just absolutely wonderful to work with. They say you were so funny that you were you got along with everybody so well. So would you say that to some certain people or maybe your cast and crew you are a certain person or is it which different types of people you act differently? Um, it, it is what it is, is is the industry and sometimes people unknowingly um, unconsciously suffer a bipolar problem um, a multifaceted life if you like um, a multiple personality well what I don't like to say this order a multiple personality order is the only way you can survive you know the mental and psychologically even physically in this industry I I have a certain person I give out there mm -hmm. and then the first thing I think I did on the course of this career is that my antenna, my emotional rider, was somehow developed to uh, I hone it to perhaps unbelievable extents. I can almost walk into a room and feel the emotions involved in, in everything come to you, the hatred, the curiosity, the love, mm -hmm. the anger directed at you for absolutely no reason and, and you think, oh my god, I can bet 90% of the people in this room do not even know me. Right. But I live in a country where um, impressions are taken to heart very easily. What they see on TV can be construed into their lives and, mm -hmm. and fed into their everyday perspective of you. And you can give so much to the public. When you wake up and see you signed up for this industry, you pretty much signed your life away. And then in the middle of it, you refuse to share that, that life of yours with them. I'm not, I'm unlike many people in the industry. I mean, it's not. It's not fun that I'm something out while I really proclaim within, within modest. I, I have grown, I, I've seen you no know, the metamorphosis, the you know, transmutation of your life from the kid to the man. As an actor, figuratively speaking, I, I, I've seen myself, you know, I've seen what I was capable of eight years.